I've been offered a Quaker parrot or an Indian ringneck parrot. Which one do you think I should take on as my next project bird? Wait, what is a project bird? Some past project birds of mine have been a 45 year old blue fronted Amazon parrot named Storm who was severely obese, couldn't fly because he was so overweight and hated men and was just overall <laughs> a cranky guy. Uh, I worked with him for 45 days and was able to rehabilitate him onto a very healthy diet, uh, make it so that he liked all people including men and was an outdoor free flyer. Another project bird was Rasta, the Alexandrian parakeet, who came to me with severe aggression and fear. So he would get so scared that he would turn to aggressive. Uh, it was a very, very interesting case. He also had a huge lack of confidence and I turned him into an indoor flyer, trick trained him and got him to a space where his 10 year old owner could then work with him. My most well-known project bird is probably Morgan, the seven year old Camelot macaw who was hatched with a foot defect. She couldn't even step up properly onto a hand according to all her previous owners. Now I worked with Morgan for four months and flight trained her to be an outside flyer and then returned her back to her owner, Patty, who is her forever home. I still stand strong to the belief that there was nothing wrong with Morgan other than nobody had really truly given her a chance. In the past, I've only been able to take on project birds very rarely, which is why they've literally been years apart in my playlists. However, my patrons over at Patreon are making it possible for me to take on project birds more often, which is amazing. Now I was offered two different birds from the same rescue and I let my patrons decide which one they thought I should work with. The first option is Lefty, a male 16 year old Quaker parrot. His owner passed away unexpectedly. His owner was a man in his 20s. The parrot ended up with his family whom has no experience with parrots. They didn't know what to do with him, so they surrendered him to this rescue. The rescue has been trying to find a home for Lefty, but Lefty wants nothing to do with human interaction, whether it's with males, females, kids, older people, younger people. He shows no interest in wanting a human relationship at all. He's severely aggressive. They can't get him to step up onto their hand. He's on a bad diet and the list goes on and on. Just from the photos, I felt like Lefty looked angry at the world. Like he didn't deserve what happened to him in his life. I would love to work with Lefty because I want to prove to him that more than just one human can love him. Touche is a two-year-old Indian ringneck, unfortunately, that got a butcher of a wing clip. And wing clipping can be done in a way that doesn't completely annihilate or ruin the feathers from molting out and coming back in. However, it can also be done wrong, and I want to help bring more awareness to the wrong way to wing clip. Honestly, I feel like you can work through almost anything without ever having to, having to clip a bird's wings. There's only been one time I've ever told a client to do a very minor wing clip, and that was with a deaf and blind lovebird. <laughs> um, so a very special case. Uh, but wing clipping is just a huge controversial thing and I really wish people could see the effects it has on a bird and Touche is the perfect candidate to show that. He was so severely clipped, he can't balance. He leans back to balance on his tail. It's messing with everything about his development. And I think if people understood how negatively wing clipping when done wrong impacts a bird, uh, it could bring more awareness to the avian community overall about wing, wing clipping in general. There's so many different ways that you can work through behavioral problems or make it safe for your parrot to be able to fly around wherever you live um, without having to clip the wings. So that's one of the main reasons I want to work with Touche is to show people the effects that wing clipping has on a bird's development. Now, full disclaimer, I have worked with clients with these types of birds, as far as Quaker parrots, Indian ringnecks. However, I have never personally worked hands-on with a Quaker or an Indian ringneck as a project bird or as a bird that I've brought into my home. So this will be an entirely new experience for me with these species, which I am excited and incredibly intimidated about as well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so now's the time to find out which bird I'm going to be working with. My patrons chose 
lefty. Now, do you feel like they chose correctly for me? Which bird would you rather see me work with? I would love to hear your opinion and your comments. Why and why not you think the patrons chose or didn't choose the right bird for me to work with? Leave it in the comments. I'm so interested to read your guys' feedback and hear about what you would like to see on the channel. I'm very excited to share this journey with you. I pick him up on May 19th and we'll start working with him and documenting his journey here on my YouTube channel. So please stay tuned, I'll make a special playlist. Please leave me all of your suggestions, Quaker owners, Quaker quirks. Tell me everything you know about Quakers that I might not already be aware of. I would love to know anything that is specific to male Quakers and working with them. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. If you wanna help support Project Birds, head over to my Patreon. I'll leave a link in the description. Also, the bigger part of this is while I will be documenting Lefty's journey, I really want to help spread the word about Lefty and the fact that Lefty will need a forever home by the end of the time that I am working with him. So Ronnie's For the Love of Birds Rescue is the one that I am working with, that I'm getting Lefty from. I will leave all of their information in the video descriptions. You guys can go to their website and apply to be an owner for Lefty and adopt him when all my training is said and done. I would absolutely love to have a list of people lined up ready to adopt this bird. Um, so if you think that you're a good fit or you know someone that might be a really good fit for Lefty, please pass them on the application for their website. Full disclaimer, I will have nothing to do with choosing the forever home for Lefty. That will be completely up to the rescue. I trust them to make the right decision on Lefty's behalf. So that will all be done through their website. Please go support your local bird rescues. They are just up to their necks with with rescue birds and needing help. So if you can volunteer your time, get experience working with birds, it's the best way to do it. I want Lefty to have the best home ever by the end and I'm gonna do everything in my power to make it so that he is more adoptable, more friendly, more adaptable, adjusted, and a more open bird to the love that somebody has to give out there. So please help me spread the word. Um, stay tuned with his journey to see if this bird might be right for you. This rescue is located in Sandy, Utah. So ideally you would be close to there to be able to adopt Lefty. I'm so excited to take you guys on this journey. Thanks for all your feedback and support. Links in the description.